Here, it's Tyler Switch Dow, that P is silent, and you are watching The Blocks TV. Things may seem a bit grayer wherever you are. Here in the Bronx though, despite the political climate, we actually moving just the same. Believe me, you can still hear the years in the street. Today, I'm here to give the realest of BX salutes. A big year to women, all of you. The mothers, the daughters, the abuelas, the stepmoms, the strong, the brave, the beautiful. I love women just about as much as Abso does in his new video. But today, y'all ladies are getting a big year for another reason. On the Saturday after Inauguration Day, nearly 500,000 women, men too, gathered in DC and hundreds of thousands more women and men gathered in over 500 cities in America and 32 countries around the world in solidarity for a variety of causes. Mostly though, thousands upon thousands of people gathered together against one man, Trump. Since then, my timeline and newsfeed have been flooded with pictures of women uniting and feeling inspired despite how hard the next four years may turn out to be. There were some people who took to the platform and made an absolute fool of themselves. Really, Madonna? Come on. Some highlights. Our favorite political woman of 2016. No, not that one. Yeah, that's the one. Elizabeth Warren, the Democratic warrior from Massachusetts, continued her more than year-long fight against Trump and his antics by once again telling us we need to fight back. Hillary showed her support too by sending out a tweet. I still don't think she gets it. The most symbolic part of the Women's March for me was watching a beautiful brown Latina woman whose name also happens to be America remind everyone that the president does not make America, the president's cabinet does not make America, it's we. We the people make America. So glad Hollywood couldn't change that realness. Si se puede. Lastly, lastly, my favorite highlight was Ashley Judd performing a ground-shaking spoken word piece entitled Nasty Woman, written by a 19-year-old named Nina Donovan from Franklin, Tennessee. Nina pens about cities tattooed in Confederate flags and compares our president's complexion to Cheeto dust. Actually, I'm not even giving it justice. Swastika painted on a pride flag, and I didn't know that devils could be resurrected, but I'll feel Hitler in these streets. A mustache traded in for a toupee. Truly inspiring. Hence, once again proven that when given the right platform, we can make the most powerful of movements. So the biggest of all yours goes out to you, Nina Donovan. From the BX with love, stay strong and stay nasty. We love our women nasty. I'm the Silent P, and this is The Blocks TV. Keep coming back for more. Here.